Hey, what's up, folks? It's your boy, Martin Lackey, Lions Realty and Investments. So I just wanted to come do a quick video because, you know, some people are asking me about, you know, how some of the things, my keys to success. So I'm bringing y'all this video in a short series of videos. So I need y'all to, for one, I need y'all to put whatever you're doing down right, right now. Stop. Stop. Right now. Right now. Put what you're doing down, grab a pen, because in a second, I'm going to give you some hot stuff. I'm going to give you some information, and I'm going to give you some stuff that going to change your family's legacy. How would you like to change your family's last name? I mean, how would you like to build your family's legacy through real estate, through wealth building? So, as you know, my, my, as some of y'all know, you know, I'm an ex-felon. You know, I've been out of prison. You know, I got sickle cell anemia, so I'm disabled. So, I really can't do half of the stuff some of y'all do. But what you won't do is outwork me. That's one thing, promise, I can't make to everybody that I work with. Nobody's going to outwork me. Nobody's going to help this community the way I'm trying to help. So we got this movement going, right? It's called the Easy Bake Way of Living. If you ain't got into the Easy Bake Way of Living and you ain't called and got your free consult, you missing out. So I don't know what to tell you, you know? All of us can't go on this trip. That's what I know. All of us can't go on this boat. So some of y'all going to come. Some of y'all won't. But for those that come, this is what we finna do. So here we go, right? So I'm starting this series. It's called I'm Telling. So as y'all know, I spent a lot of money on my education. A lot of money. A lot of money just to learn, you know, how to build wealth. You know, nobody ever told me. I never had no mentors or nothing growing up. So, you know, I became what I saw, which was a pimp and a player. But as I got older, I learned that real wealth is built through real estate. So that was one of the reasons why I started my company. Because I see why they keep us out of certain things. And boy, I will not tell you that when we get into some, when black folks and minorities start some, we don't just start it. We make it great. We just, we just change the whole game. We remixed up. So this is what we doing. We going to start this call. I'm telling. So I need y'all to like a comment and share on this. Or like, you know, right there. Right to see that? Where, where it's at. Wherever that button is, press it. That's the only way we can support each other. The best way you can support me is through giving me a referral or pressing that like or subscribe button. So if you find out my content is valuable, let me know. You you got something you want to know? Let me know. We're gonna make this money together. So I don't want to be. I don't want to build this money by myself. You know what I'm saying? Like I don't want to. I don't want to be rich by myself. I want my people to come with me. I'm taking everybody with me. And when I say I'm telling, I'm telling. So let's give. So we gonna get this started. So. The first thing, I, so this is this video. It's called being intentional. So, you know, as you know, some of y'all, you might have your careers, your kids, you got all this stuff going on. You got all this stuff going on in your life, you know, like my hands moving or whatever. You got all this stuff going on, but what you don't have is habits of building wealth. And most business people, most millionaires I talk to, they all have pretty much the same habits. I don't care who you is, they got the same habits with building wealth. They build money, money and they sleep. So one of the things I wanted to talk to you about is, you know, if you want to start a business, you want to, you know, get a, get build your home or however you want to do it, you're going to need some people to help you, okay? You ain't just going to wake up one day and get on YouTube and figure out, oh, I know how to do this. So what you got to do, one of the things you have to do is be intentional. And what I mean by being intentional, I mean be intentional about going to the spaces you want to be in. If you're thinking about being a doctor, you're going to have to go to the hospital and talk to some doctors. You're going to have to figure out what this is called. You want to be a lawyer? Guess what? You got to go talk to some lawyers. Ain't nothing like listening to a broke person try to tell you how to make some money. So if you really want to do something, you really want to be, build your business or build success, first, I advise you to be intentional about what you want to do. Ain't nobody going to break in your house and teach you about building wealth. Ain't nobody going to teach your kids. Ain't nobody going to teach your family. We got to teach our own. We got to do it ourselves. So be intentional with those you want to talk to. Go find so. And what I mean by being intentional, go to some spaces. Get out your house. You got an hour of your time a day where you can go do a networking event or something. So that's one of the things. Another thing I want to tell you about being intentional is you got to get out here and network, bro. Like you, I don't care what business you in, you're in the people business. You're in the business of building people. So you got to go out and meet those people. Now, I ain't the type of person that I even like building. I even like people in my business, right? So, you know, like, I just ain't a big person with having people in my business. So this networking thing and being in all these spaces, it be kind of hard and overwhelming sometimes. But I like money better 
And I, I you know I love money. I love everything about money. So, you know, ain't nothing you can tell me about money. I know all about it. So I, I like to be in those spaces with people with money. What I look like hanging out with broke folks. You know, I've been broke my most of my life. So why would I hang out with a broke person? I go hang out with some millionaires. And guess what? They love talking about themselves. So don't be scared to go ask a person a couple questions. One of the red things I recommend is ask, find three questions to ask somebody. You know, one of the questions I ask is, how did you get into real estate? Or how did you get into your business? What triggered you to want to do this? You know, you got to be intentional with asking questions. And be intentional with asking those people to go out and have a cup of coffee. You just don't know how much information you can get and how much swag and sauce you can get from people in your business just by asking them for a cup of coffee. Everybody likes drinking coffee. And if they don't, get them a cup of water. But make sure you offer them to take them out just to pick their brand. Most people want to talk about themselves. I repeat, most people want to talk about themselves. I love talking about myself. I love talking about money. I love talking about myself. I love talking about building a community. So if that's something you you want to talk to me, you want to get me happy and hyper, mention those three, mention those things. So another next thing I want to talk to you all about is find a mentor. Don't be scared to ask somebody about being your mentor. Don't be scared to nominate somebody as your mentor without them knowing. I got a couple of people as my mentor. I watch everything they do. I mimic after stuff they do. They have no clue that they one of my mentors. I got online mentors. I got a mentor for every piece of wealth building I need. So if I, if I got a mentor for the stock building. I got a mentor for building my business. I got a mentor for marketing. I got a mentor for real estate. I got a mentor for just cashing out. A mentor for the stock market. Like I make sure I put myself in certain situations where I'm going to be involved with those people. Now, as y'all know, Madison has one black real estate developer in all of Dane County. We got another brother coming from Milwaukee, but he's from Milwaukee, so he don't really count. But we gonna get the. But it's, I'm proud that we got more black folks trying to get into this business and trying to get into wealth building. So unless we do this together, unless we get some economic development and we get start to work together, none of this really works. We can sit with our hands out all we want to, but what something I've learned is he who has the goal makes all the rules. Let me repeat that. He who has the goal makes the rules. So if you ain't got no goal, stop talking. Ain't no sense on us talking. I don't I I try to shut up in these spaces now because I know I'm not I'm not in the streets no more. I'm the broke dude now in the room. I'm not the dude, the, the baller that, that's getting all this money, getting all these girls. I'm now the broke dude that it's got less money than everybody. So I love being in those spaces because it gives me a chance to sit back, take the selfishness out of myself, and just pay attention. And one of the best things I ever did was finding me a couple mentors. I grew up, I'll be honest with you, I didn't have a mentor until I was in my late 30s. And I, I'm going to touch base on this in more of my videos, but I want to thank all the mentors that, that is much love. For those that is helping me, much love. For you people that be ignoring my phone calls when I be calling, I see. I'm not going to get away. You're not getting away that easy. So I'm going to give you one more. So find a mentor. So a quick, a quick recap. You're in the people business. You're not in the building business. You're in the people business. So if you don't know people, you ain't making no money. We got the internet now. So it's almost impossible for you not to be able to secure some wealth and secure that bag. We got, they messed up by giving us the internet. I mean, they messed up by giving me the internet because my ancestors was getting killed just for knowing how to read. And now you give me all this access to wealth and, and information and Google and think I'm not going to leverage it and, and make something out of it. Huh? <laughs> Trick no good. So I just wanted to come to, so the last final point of how to get this money, right, <clears throat> is get yourself a notebook. So let me show you something. This is my best friend. This, I don't go nowhere without this notebook. I don't care what happened, where I go. I got carry two things with me. I carry my computer and I carry a notebook. I carry this notebook because any information I feel valuable or valuable or any information that I need, I put in this book. Any phone calls or real estate I pass by goes in this book. Any business I get goes in this book. These books have saved my life because it gives you a chance to go back and learn a recap on some of the things that you learned from either the day or, or the month. So I recommend, no, I'm telling you, right now, go or eBay, go order you a couple notebooks, order you something that, or something with some writing utensils and a pen. Because I'm telling you, this money ain't going to just break in your house and get it. 
you're going to have to do something intentional to get out here and get this money. So stop with